Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic that what is Microsoft Project Server. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or uh, you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, if you just see the term or name of the software, Project Server. So basically, it is a software or a server which provides all the necessary information or requirements for the uh, for the project management. So Project Server is basically a software uh, or a platform basically designed by the Microsoft for uh, project management and uh, portfolio management. Okay. So uh, through this software, you can manage your projects, resources, and their workloads as well. So now the the major features which the project server provides. First one is the project management. So by using the project so server of Microsoft, you can uh, create, manage, track uh, all the all your projects in your organization. Uh, you can create the project schedules, tasks, dependencies, milestones, and resource assignment. So all the uh, major concepts of uh, project management are available uh, to manage through the Microsoft Project Server. Then portfolio management, uh, friend project server because all the uh, projects are basically creating in the project server and information is there. So by using the portfolio management concept, uh, you can evaluate that which projects are assigned are aligned with the strategic alignment of organization. Uh, you can also see the resource availability, budget constraints, risk issues and assessments as well. Next is the resource management. Uh, friend, again, uh, all the information is available in the project server related to resources, especially the human resources. Uh, not only the resource, human resources, also the hardware and uh, software resources also there. So uh, basically, uh, by using the uh, project server, it helps you in uh, resource allocation and capacity planning that how much work is there, how many resources are working there, and what is the um, capability or what is the uh, capacity available for resources as well. You can uh, re uh, view resource availability, assign resources task as task and manage workloads to ensure that resources are utilized efficiently. Timesheet management. Project server allows uh, the team members to enter or submit their hours worked on different tasks or project. So basically through this uh, feature, uh, it provides information that how much work is actually uh, worked on and uh, their utilization and project cost can be calculated from the uh, this uh, from this option. Reporting and analytics. Friend, uh, this uh, platform offers powerful reporting and analytic uh, capabilities. Uh, lots of reports are there and uh, users can also generate custom reports and dashboard as well to track project progress, resource utilization, cost and other key performance indicators as well. That uh, for example, uh, for example, project was uh, a plan to complete in five months and it was completed in six months. So either we are on track, either we were off track, etc. So, so many KPIs can be generated using the reporting and dashboard tools of project server. Integration with micro Microsoft project. Friend, as we know that uh, project server and Microsoft project, both are the products of the Microsoft. So uh, my Microsoft project server can easily and seamlessly integrate with the Microsoft project as well. So you can create projects in uh, Microsoft project and uh, then you can publish or uh, integrate it with the uh, my project server very easily as well. Uh, so uh, integration and uh, the collaboration among two software Microsoft project and project server is very easy and very seamlessly uh, in uh, project server. Document management uh, is also a very big feature uh, like uh, you can create uh, any artifacts and documents related to projects like for example scope document functional specification document um, the wireframes etc so you can uh, store uh, you can uh, submit these documents or artifacts on the uh, project server and also you can share collaborate the those documents with the specific or the specified uh, team members as well 
issue and risk management project server allows for the identification tracking and management of project issues and risk and uh, you can create uh, issue log and uh, you can also create information and uh, store information related to risk and also this information helps in proactive risk mitigation and problem resolution as well work automation is another feature in the uh, project server so you can create the workflows for example uh, once a project SIT is completed so you can create the uh, you can start the QA work so uh, once the project uh, the SIT phase are finished so automatically email should be sent to the QA team members that you have to start the um, QA process for example so a uh, friend basically this all these things uh, can be done through the uh, automated workflows in the project server you can set up approval workflows for project proposals change request and other key project related activities as well demand management Friend, uh, it helps uh, in capturing, evaluating and prioritizing new project request or demand and it will ensure that the initiatives which are going on in your organization are aligned with the strategic and uh, the resource capabilities of, the, uh, of your organization. Security and access control. Uh, project server is totally following and uh, to totally following the uh, access controls and security features uh, as per the standards and uh, industry guidelines uh, it makes sure that uh, proper rules and permissions should be available in the project server so that only the sensitive information or particular information could be accessible to the relevant team member and the sensitive and like for example cost etc it should be uh, viewable to only the authorized person only cloud based option Pro project server is uh, available on the cloud as well so that means uh, you can easily access the projects and uh, uh, through the internet connection through your uh, by using the cloud based option as well so if you have uh, internet connection for example you are traveling uh, you are outside the office so by using the cloud based option of uh, project server you can easily access the uh, information about your projects as well okay next is the integration with the sharepoint uh, again uh, friend sharepoint is also a uh a product of Microsoft project so that is why uh, the project Microsoft project server it could easily be integrated with the SharePoint SharePoint is also a server through which you can uh, share the relevant information documents and you can co collaborate and communicate within the project teams as well so a uh, project server has also big capabilities related to uh, collaboration communication and document management and uh, if you integrate uh, which you can easily integrate with the SharePoint as well so your capabilities of collaboration and communication within the team member would also be enhanced easily as well. Here a uh, friend I would say that the Microsoft project server is a very comprehensive and you can say an enterprise level software uh, for your organization uh, and so that you can manage the projects, uh, resources, uh, capacity planning, portfolio management in a very uh, you can see a very efficient manner and a very structured way this type of software is beneficial for large uh, enterprises who have I mean to say uh, large projects or uh, they are looking for a centralized platform for uh, project management and collaboration normally we use the Microsoft project for uh, the uh, mid size or uh, you can say small size uh, organization and for uh, enterprise or large level organization normally use the Microsoft projects to manage their projects as well so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video I hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video